neighbors aren't even gonna notice it's gone because they gave it to me. Yes, uh, one of my neighbors is uh, moving out and selling their house and they had a whole bunch of stuff in the garage that they needed to get rid of and I rolled up because there was a bunch of stuff on the street lawn that said free to anyone who wants it. So I loaded up on a bunch of stuff, including a whole bunch of Christmas lights and a decent amount of Lumex housing wire. But while I was there, we met and I uh, mentioned I was interested in anything metal and uh, they started putting it aside. So that's how I ended up with this small collection here. There's a whole bunch of stuff here and uh, most of it is just scrap steel. So that's how we're gonna start today off. We need to do a steel run. I replaced the um, bearing, it, I did the whole hub. Turns out uh, the dust shield was interacting with the, uh, uh, the brake rotor and causing a squeaking noise, which is why I thought it was loose and tighten her down to guten tight in the first place. And uh, that, so, but I have a torque wrench now and I got a replacement bearing and it's all good. So the car is operational and it's time to load it up with steel because this is a pile of junk and I don't really want it around anymore. Let's go. A younger, more naive thub was convinced he was going to get all of this plus all the prep in here. But this is how we ended up. So we'd better get down there and uh, see what we can get for this. And then we're going to scurry back here because we got even more to go. Come on. There it is. Uh, it sure would be easier with the truck. We'd have all of the metal in here and just do it in one load. But uh, but we're working on it. It is the way it is. Incidentally, a few of you actually threw a little bit into the tip jar, and that was very kind of you, very generous. Thank you very much. It helps because uh, I already uh, used it to purchase some incidentals for the engine swap. Naturally, it's not just a matter of uh, pulling it out and putting it in. We need new gaskets, uh, got new timing chain tensioners, and new uh, the thermostat housing because uh, that's generally kind of rough. Oh, and the front and rear main seals. Just a few things that it makes a lot more sense to do while we've got the whole thing out. Uh, so thank you for that. It definitely helps. Now let's see how much this helps. That's a lot of fridges. And let's get this going. Well, 58 doll hairs. That's not too much, but it's better than a kick in the bag. Uh, it's uh, 11 cents a pound, so eh, yeah, 500 pounds in here. That's not bad. Looks like steel's coming down a little bit, but that's okay. Now there's a couple spots I wanted to hit up before we go back and get that prep. Let's, uh, you can come along if you want. Alrighty. Now this is Chris's contact who said there was some more metal. Um, and yeah, that's not bad. I don't blame him for, uh, for heaving it in there, not wanting it, uh, sitting around all the time, looking like, looking all messy. But I got to say, it looks like there's a couple pieces. Now, ah, you know we love wire, everybody loves wire. Can't say no to the wire. But what else are we talking about here? 
That's pretty cute, but I don't really want it. Grab that too. Don't know what this is. Universal showery something. Whatever. Aluminium. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of stainless. And those. Broken LED one. That's too bad. More wire. Goodness, yes, please. I'd be more than happy to. And it just keeps going. Yes, yes, yes. Try not to make too much of a mess. That too. Now the only slight problem is I forgot to bring any significant tools. So that might be kind of fun to try and uh, to try and sort out, you know. If I can get one of these off, thing. Nice. Sweet, sweet. Mm. I'll put that cast iron at the bottom, because ideally we won't even take that stuff out. Am I gonna break this down right here? I will if I can. There's the aluminum. The wire. <clears throat> and 
and this door. I'm not sure if we can make this any smaller. So instead, we just gotta get a little creative. That'll work. It's not great, but it'll work. Better than we found, better than we found, better than we found it. Than we found, better than we found. In this context, all that means is not leaving any garbage behind. Nice. This is fine. Hold on a second, what do I see here? Well, that's a pipe, which I will happily remove, but mostly that's uh, a little bit of that helium steel and a whole lot of plastic. Hmm. Nothing special. That's okay. I think this counts as prep. Now, yes, there actually is more. Looky here! Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a nice big heavy piece. This, uh, well, this will be a better load than that first one for sure. Um, this is my neighbor. I'm not putting his face on because I don't really care to, nah, I, don't, I don't like blurring faces out and thinking about it later. So it's easier this way. Ah, thank you for your help. If you wanna just put yours up and on, and then I'll just slide it in. Does that work? And then I'll just, whoo! Oh yeah, look at the. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, we're getting there, almost in. And then, oh, and I can, look at that. Rolly, rolly, beautiful. I'm gonna use these pieces to try and stabilize it. And I can tilt them up and there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, now that is a differential from the neighbor's truck, as well as a couple flanges. Not a bad little pile to add to the the prep. And we got this here, a bunch of uh, aluminum extrusion, which I'm just gonna hop right into and clean up right now. I don't really have to do this right now, but it's nice to get it out of the way. Truth be told, I know Future Thub is a busy guy, so might as well help him out a little bit. And hey, well, we're all just sitting here in the shade of the evening. I want to say I uh, I appreciate all of you for the uh, for the support on the recent um, sponsored videos because I've had a lot of fun making those. Uh, I really like doing those ones where I get to research and write a script and really do my best to, to present all the information. You know, I love doing these um, uh, you know scrap metal treasure hunt kind of adventures. They're super fun because you never know how it's going to turn out, and uh, I'm so happy to be able to share them all with you. But I really enjoy trying to, you know, put some, some extra effort in and really flex um, and practice little, little editing things that I've been picking up along the way. And I'd love to do more of those. A few of you mentioned um, you'd prefer if those were um, 
not the the only week, the only video for the week, but in fact, um, you know, you enjoy them, but it would be nice if there was also the, the scrap metal adventure, um, which would be nice. Um, I'd love to do that, and I will see if I can, I've got a few more planned out, so I'll see if I can fit all of that in um, when it comes time to release the next one. But, in fairness to me, I think um, the truth is those take a lot of work. Like, it's still just me doing all of these, right? Um, and I don't want to disappoint anybody uh, because I know a lot of, you know, if most of the videos coming out here are dumpster diving videos and that's sort of what people have come to expect and look forward to, I certainly don't want to disappoint anybody who's looking forward to that. Um, but it's not easy to do both because those ones actually represent weeks of effort um, and are most of what I'm doing in addition to the uh, so like I'll, or I'll I'll make the video for that week but a lot of the time and effort that I have available for that week is going into the upcoming higher effort production uh, and that's what I mean by weeks of effort like it's legitimately a lot of like pretty much all my free time goes into Putting those together so the idea of doing all that plus all I'm saying is I'll try and I do appreciate your patience and understanding um, while I seek to create balance in my life between um, the, uh, the easier to make videos and the higher effort, higher production value ones. Because the reality of the dumpster diving videos is that they just don't last in the same way, right? They get published and they go out and they just, you know, they have a, a weekend where a bunch of people enjoy them and then they, they simmer down and they sort of putter for a few weeks and then after that they pretty much cease to exist, right? They just they disappear. Nobody watches them. And I'd, uh, if, if this channel is something that I'm going to continue to spend most of my time making, um, as I have been for years now, I'd like to have some body of work that remains that I can be proud of, you know? Uh, so it's nothing against the dumpster diving videos, but there is a, a certain longevity and satisfaction with making videos that are you know a little more targeted and a little more intentional and uh, represent a greater effort all I'm saying is I'm proud of them and it's uh, it, it makes me a little sad when uh, there are people out there who see it as more of a disappointment than, uh, than what they really represent to me. Um, so I'll do my best, and uh, thank you for being a part of the journey and being patient with me while I figure all this stuff out. of clean aluminum extrusion. Well, painted aluminum extrusion. I'm gonna put that away. And we got uh, one more thing to get done. All right. It's these. So these rims are gonna go in as prepared. 
I listed them for super cheap because I thought maybe, maybe someone just needs some, some rolling rubber to move some piece of crap car or something they were trying to sell and they didn't want to sell it with their nice rims or whatever. Um, but ultimately these things are 20 years old. They're dried out. They're not really safe. So like a person shouldn't sell them. So we're just gonna give it a go. I don't normally bother cutting rubber off of steel rims if I can avoid it, but I took these to help a friend out and, you know, we'll get like two bucks for each of these, so I could use the tires too. Halfway. I get some, uh, some safety glasses. If those were aluminum, I'd put a little more effort into them, but they're not, so I'm not. And now I've still got to do these ones. I'll see you in a sec. All right, we got those all finished, chopped off, ready to go. And we ended up with a handful of lead oil weights, so we'll add that to the side. That's pretty nice. Now, now we're going to get those as well as a bunch of other prep loaded up, and we're going to get those out of here because uh, it's been waiting and we need the cash. So uh, let's get them in. Forgot about a piece. This happy little missile. Actually, nah, I still want these. Goodness, that's quite the squad. Looks like it did before I even did the struts. Fun. All right, we here. And despite how it may appear, this is actually Sweet. Holy cow, we slayed that one. Um, that was just over a thousand pounds. 1,010 pounds, and that's prepared, so 130 bucks. Not bad. Uh, she can still do it. She didn't love it, but it's, it's like the other guy was saying, it's good exercise. Now, I kind of want to go hunt around and see if we can find anything cool uh, after I get some gas and a sandwich. Uh, see you in a second. Holy cow, I was not expecting those to still be here.
But those are a massive win. Uh, a friend told me these were uh, sitting here, and I was a little late uh, seeing the message, so I didn't. Uh, I didn't think they'd still be here. But uh, hey, <laughs> sweet. Holy cow. That's quite a collection. It's been picked through. I'm not actually going to be able to pull anything out of this because it's all private property, as much as I would like to. Um, but it's fun to be nosy, you know? Um, like they got a, they got an exhaust there with a stainless tip. Um, actually a couple exhausts. But, um, yeah, no converters. Which wouldn't matter anyway. Because... Huh. Yeah, there's some decent metal back there. I would not mind if the owner rolled out to find out what I was doing. Because then I could tell him, hey, I'm looking for metal. Can I haul some of this? Huh. Oh well, adventure continues. I think I see a little something something. If that is what I think it is, and I do believe it is, nice. Aluminum extrusion? Yes, please. If y'all know me, y'all know I love me some extrusion. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Can they get through? Yeah, they're good. Did we just find some scrap metal? I do believe we have. That looks great. In you go. Oh, it's a perfect fit. How about that? And we got those two. All right. You know, I might move those back there. Better use of space. Nice. Found a battery, but I can't be sure it's on its way to the landfill, so. Hey, maybe I'll ask. Nah, bunch of kids playing in the background. I don't want to make the, the mom or whoever uncomfortable. It's just a battery. Hold on a second. What the heck is all that? What the heck is all that? Wow. Hey, is there, uh, can you tell me if there's anything wrong with any of these? There's nothing wrong. Really? The thing I can say is that you probably need an amp. Oh, so the, the is this not an amp? That's, no, just, that's a, an amp. This is just a receiver. But I think you can change, you can change the setting on this oh, one. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, you can change it, then you don't need it. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it could be, I mean, you'd still want an amp. Yeah, probably. How does this, uh, does it just, like... Oh, aha! No, I will find a home for these. Sweet. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, no One of these got all scratched up, so let's rearrange a little bit. All right. that moving around but that should hold it okay so it's just an old style straight up RCA controller control center interesting to have a control center with no amp huh cross fader neat
big kahunas there. And then two more. Now that is a killer find. Whoop whoop. Blessings. Just drove by and I think I saw something. Nice. Huh. Cool. Oh my god. Look at that plate. Would you just look at it? A couple of junk frame rails. Chrome bumper cap. Yes, sir, I got a home for those. But I think the real question is... Where do I put that? Goodness, that's quite the piece. Wow. Oh, man. This thing's kind of epic. Um. Okay, so. Up. So go ahead. Let's try that again. Well, I hurt myself pretty good with that one. Um, could have been a lot worse, though. Uh, oh, and uh, I broke my uh, my tail light, so that's hilarious. It's not like an important part, but. I liked it. I didn't want it broken. Uh, so we'll have to figure that out. Let's get this loaded up. Okay. You know what? We're just going to call it there. And no, but this is not giving up. How dare you? This is a tactical reassessment. No, this, uh, this wound isn't that bad. It certainly could keep going. But sometimes there are just forces outside your control that seem to be urging you. You know what? Why don't you just go home, buddy? And it can be wise and virtuous to listen to these signals when you get them. Besides, we got a pretty decent stash. Look at this. We got this big old pile of steel, including that monstrous plate that's probably worth 10 or 15 bucks on its own. We got a whole pile of uh, transformers, probably you know, five, six bucks of copper in each of them. We'll see. Uh, those I'm gonna. Uh, those will be for the next big garage scrap out, clear out video because uh, I'm piling up stuff that might be fun and uh, I'm curious to see how much the smaller ones the ones that size are worth uh, per hour so we'll share that when we get to it a little bit of aluminum and this stash this is like a full PA system out of a gym I had a, a bit more conversation with the guy after I turned the camera off um, apparently it works just fine doesn't really look like the kind of stuff you'd hook up in your house but maybe if you wanted to have a proper you know PA with a crossfader and mixer and whatever you wanted to do or maybe you set up like a dance studio or I don't know, whatever you like. Point is, it looks like it's probably an easy 200 bucks right there. So, that looks pretty solid as the day goes. Plus, we got a little, we got a few chores to take care of. Perfect. I'm not spending 20 bucks at pick and pull for a replacement one for a piece of steel that's worth 10. All cleaned up and washed all the uh, rusty shards of metal out of my wounds. And now we're headed for our last chore of the day. Not really, I'm gonna spend a bunch of time on the computer, but you don't need to 
where we just pretend that doesn't happen. Uh, one last drone that's related to getting this car absolutely tip top, and it's an important one. Um, unfortunately, the car has sort of fallen into uh, um, out of favor well, with the, the truck being back home and that being the focus. Um, and again, huge thank you to anybody who sent a little bit in the tip jar because it has helped. Uh, and to those of you who are um, not necessarily able to, or uh, and, and I assure you, I have it covered. It's not a big deal. Um, but if you still want to help, well, I've got a great way you can do it because we are incredibly close to that 100K. And that is going to mean so much. It's going to mean something to be proud of for all of us to be proud of because it has been a long time coming it's been a long road i know that's my fault because i keep doing uh, different things all the time there's been a lot of talking in this video so i'm not gonna uh spend too long banging on about it but there's like 80 percent of you not subscribed it's free it's easy it's not gonna change your experience in any way but it's gonna make a well no it'll make it more likely that you'll see the new videos from me. That's kind of the point. Um, and that would be a good thing, I would think. So for anybody who hasn't already, get down there, slap the subscribe button. It is free and it means a lot to me. It really helps. Let's get to that 100K. I'm we'll off to come up with something cool to do to celebrate that meaningful milestone. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna be so stoked to finally get there. It's been a long time. Anyway, no need to go on and on about it. Help your boy out. Get in there, do your part. It's easy. Now we're almost there. Sometimes it's good to talk to an expert. Come on, Drake. You can't just put some random clip in between two completely unrelated scenes and call it a transition. That's not going to work. Holy cow! Look at that! Now look who's back. Yeah, this isn't mine. This is, this is uh, Glenn. I wish that was mine. Kind of. We're not really sure. Uh, this is that. Um, uh, so this is that coax that you see way up high on uh, on those communication lines, power lines. Is it worth money? Well, we're gonna go find out today. There's a piece of steel for every piece of cable, huh? Yeah. That's a nice coating of copper, but not gonna. No way to retrieve it. No. Well, is it worth money? Everything's worth money if you got enough of it. Let's go find out. So how'd you do? We did okay. Not that's great, a, but okay. That's just shy of 300 bucks. No, that's not great, but it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's better than paying to get rid of it. <laughs> not going to make that a habit. So that, that coax stuff with the uh, steel cable, not a new favorite, but... But I've got a crap load of it this summer. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that's not me. <laughs> Seriously, the cinematography is just going to be a total mess. It's going to feel disjointed and confusing. You need to connect the ideas somehow. I did not realize that nest was currently active. I suppose some folks probably would have figured that out by the uh, eggs in it. Now this guy's still standing watch. I forgot one of my screws. Just a screw. <laughs> 20 bucks for that. <sighs> Whatever. 
way cheaper doing it this way, and cool air is necessary when the weather is like this. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Come on, do it. It helps a lot. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.